In this video, I'm going to explain the summary task options. By default, we have these options on show all related items of a parent summary task on the child tasks, and then show all descriptions of parent summary tasks on the display form of child tasks. What that means is here I have a summary task called planning, and you can see I have some detailed description here. If I navigate back to the task list, planning has three tasks under it. Now, if I go to the kickoff meeting, you'll see there's the description is showing there from the summary. And what's great about that is you can put in a summary description of what needs to be done in the whole set of tasks. And then the other option is any files that you have associated to the parent would show on the children tasks. So if these are design docs or any kinds of information, they will show up on the child tasks here. They, they may be coming from the parent. If I navigate back to here, I can see those same exact files are showing up here. Um, also, there is an option in our tool to uh, show files on all tasks from the document repository. So that's kind of correlated to that. And I'm adding, I'm showing that in this video because all documents go, go here and you can say, I want this to be added to all tasks. Um, that's something important to know. So this charter is going to be added to all tasks or this link to a design doc, add to all tasks. If I now go back to here, those two documents are now showing here as well. So you can uh, so, uh, create descriptions on the parent summary and have it cascade down and add files on the parent summary and have it cascade down. Um, and again, one other way to edit the description of a task is well, you can double click in the task list and then choose here. And then this is where you can add the description and it should, putting it on the summary will automatically show it in all child tasks for you. And that's what these settings will do.